subscribe to Tyson. Yep. Make sure you put your thumbs up and all that stuff. Do you want to tell us about your YouTube channel as well? Uh, right now, I'm currently working on my YouTube channel. It's awesome, right now. Nothing. Cool. I'm so disappointed in you. It's a very. Oh, his YouTube channel. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this, this, do some some of the voices that you do in the anime. Oh, sure. Sure. This is Zenius from Kingdom Hearts. I am all Saint Peter at the Universe. Awesome. I am also Gurama, the Nine Tail Demon Fox. Right. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. We went to this line twice just to kill time. Uh, yeah. We're getting this signature for the other artists over there who yep. gave us like two drawings on the house. Yeah. Did you buy the poster so you it's can It's $20. $20? Yeah. yeah. Uh,
I'm sorry. <laughs> I even asked him how to say this character's name, and I still messed it up. You okay? Zelda. Next up, Asaka and Stacia. Good luck, you two. Speaking of witchy women, we have Rose as Juco.
Wiley as Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy. Next is our crows. Crows are entries that are made by people who have won contests before. So our first crow is Devin as Flack from Borderlands 3. Awesome. This is the end. Our last entry is Axel as the Dark Magician. For what now? Oh. You guys are probably sick of me, so I'm going to have our judges come up and take over from here. Sorry, I wasn't jumping up in a skirt. Hi everyone, how are you? Good. good. We're pretty good. Closer to the stage instead of in the shadows here. Are you guys having fun? Oh, you have to have your uh, Just to introduce ourselves, hi. My name's Dante Kaiba. I've been costuming and performing for close to 15 years now. Yeah, I'm old. Here you go. <laughs> I am Holly Cosby. I've been judging for three years now, but I've been cosplaying since 2007. Oh, wow. Hi, I'm Jarvis Kaiba. I've been cosplaying for close to 10 years now, and that feels weird to say. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so thanks everybody for coming. I, I ha oh, I'm stuck with the microphone now because I'm doing the first announcements. Okay, so uh, the first winner that we're going to announce is the winner of our kids division. Um, Who is it? This was a very difficult decision because all of the costumes that we saw from our kiddos were amazing. Uh, yep. But our, our best friend Ladybug was who <laughs> You get all of it. You can take the whole bucket. Oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations, Lady <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We absolutely loved your energy. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. She can't hold all that candy. We'll see you later. Okay, so <laughs> because how clean the artwork was, like the whole head piece was beautiful. So come on here, Dominica as Koga. Oh, hey, back to me. Okay, so 
our best newbie uh, was a was a very difficult decision again because all of the costumes from the novices were just amazing. Um, there were so many, and we, we went back and forth on it for a little while. Um, but who we ended up picking for best newbie was because they had both an amazing prop and a really well put together costume with really clean lines uh, that they made themselves. Uh, both the prop and the costume were made, like handmade by the person. So Desiree, uh, if you want to come on up with Like all of the paint was super nice and even on the prop. The, the seams are really clean on the costume. It just looks amazing. So everybody give her one more round of applause. nitty-gritty of their costumes to make a decision um but I, I we all came to a unanimous one that, I, that we're quite happy with so our best pro is Devin questions about how they manage to make everything and we're just really interested in the process I think is also what sold it for us. Drum roll please. Where can you get out of here? and blown away we were with all of your entries. All of your costumes were incredible. There were so many of you that we had we had such a hard time choosing uh, between, but we, we just, th those, those five specifically, just 10 out of 10. And we all love all you guys because all the amazing job. I know it was like super like scary, but oh my God, I hope to see you guys again next year, seriously. Yeah. Bye. Have fun with the rest of the convention. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Uh, over here will be decent. Yep, we got it. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. Uh, hopefully this will be alright. Uh, Where did they go? Oh, hey, how's it going? Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Probably we could stay over there. It has a nice. Yeah, let's do that. That's a great idea. Beautiful look. Uh, Maze Hughes is one of my personal favorites. Yeah. I love doing Hughes. And mm. um, I've also done uh, Bejeweled and nice. Keep Till and a lot of the other simple ones. But like, that's this is probably this is the biggest cosplay that I've done to date. Really? I'm currently working on doing a Goblin Slayer. 
Really? Nice. That's Which really part good. of the Gazan took the hardest? So I would say my scythe did. Oh, your scythe, man. Getting this modeled up right, where it took a lot of time and effort trying to get it just right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. It's it. pure plastic. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pure it's plastic. All 3D printed. What about your mask? How long did it take? All, also 3D printed. All of this stuff is all 3D printed. Really? And everything. Awesome. So. All the plastic components. Have you tried doing Iron Man? Because my friends say that's the longest. That, that is a oh, yeah. huge project that, Very like, long. most people say that takes anywhere from a um, thousand hours to three thousand hours, depending on what build you're doing. Yeah. So hmm. it's like, I, I'm super want to do this at one point, but like, so. Yeah, he saw Sora Alpha doing the three printing, uh, but now he's <laughs> trying to get his welter license, yeah. so he's doing it like an actual metal. They're, they're going to do a shoot here, so let's get on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. Yes.